Hello, I'm Brian Shakin, Senior Economist for the Conference Board, and this is your Economics Watch Brief for the United States for the month of May. Winter blues have been a theme for the U.S. economy this decade, and 2017 was no exception. The preliminary estimates of first quarter GDP registered an anemic 0.7% annual rate of growth. No need to be too worried about this number yet. Temporary factors, including unseasonably warm weather, drove consumption figures lower thanks to lower utility bills. Car sales, too, have been lower through April. Sales at the end of 2016 were simply too strong to be sustained. While consumer confidence leveled off in April, expect a quick rebound as the index remained at high levels. Reduced inventories and stronger global demand will also boost sales during the next few months. GDP growth is likely to bounce back to 3% in the second quarter and finish the year just above its long-term trend of 2% growth. Can this trend continue beyond 2017? Watch the labor market and investment data for clues. 211,000 jobs were created in April, showing that a lower March number was a blip in an otherwise robust labor market environment. With unemployment at 4.4%, its lowest level in 10 years, wage growth should eventually accelerate beyond its current 2.5% annual rate. If wage growth does take off, two outcomes are possible. First, firms could boost investment to meet higher levels of demand. Indeed, non-residential investment grew by 9.4% in the first quarter, propping up GDP. But much of this investment was energy-related, as oil rig counts rose to their highest levels in two years. Still, business confidence remains strong. Most major indicators have fallen over the last few months. And even though the ISM Purchasing Managers Index for April fell from 57.2 to 54.8, its level still signals expanding activity. Another outcome of wage inflation is that rising prices may lead consumers to rein in discretionary spending. Higher global demand could help fill the void, but if we don't see a full rebound in consumer growth in the second quarter, Increased caution among consumers may make it harder to sustain the 2% growth trend in 2018. I'm Brian Shaitkin, and this has been your Economics Watch Brief for the United States.